The following video is about all the different things we can do with the factors of an integer. Um, there are lots of different things you can do with the factors of an integer. You can find the total number of factors. You can find um, the sum. You can find the product of the factors. You could find the number of even factors. Or you could even find the number of odd factors. So we're going to explore each one of these different questions about different integers. And how would we um, do this? So let's go ahead and start and talk just a little bit and, and give us a little background on what we're doing. If we start with the number 24, well, 24 we can list uh, the factors out very easily, right? The most easiest is always 1 times 24. Then you could do 2 times 12. Then 3 times 8. And finally, 4 times 6. As you can see, the total number for this particular problem is 8. The sum would be if we added all these up, so 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4, uh, that's 10. 6 plus 8 is 14, so it's 24, 48. So the sum for this particular problem is 60. If we did the product, we could get a calculator out if we wanted and multiply them together, um, and we'd end up getting, if we went through and multiplied all those together, we would end up getting... Uh, a very, very large number, actually, 331,776, if you multiplied those uh, numbers together. So if you went through and multiplied these eight numbers together, you'd get that. The number of even factors, well, there are, if you counted them up, 2, 4, 6, 8, 12, 24, there are 6. And then the number of odd factors is 2. So for the number 24, that question was very, very simple. However, what happens when you get more compli complicated problems? Well, that's where you learn, use the rules we're going to discuss right now. So let's do those rules first for the number 24. So if we look at 24, the way we always start to answer these five questions, we always start by doing the prime factorization. When we do the prime factorization, you can use a tree, or you can use this upside-down division, which is what I'm going to do. There's lots of ways. So two, you just start dividing prime factors into 24. Two goes into 24 12 times. I can still put two into it, so two goes into 12. 6 times, 2 goes into th 6, 3 times, and as you can see, all the numbers on the outside are prime factors. If you multiply them together, you get 24. So, the prime factorization for 24 is 2 to the 3rd times 3 to the 1st. That's the prime factorization. So, the first thing we're going to do is find the sum, or the total number. And the total number is always equal to uh, the product of one more than the exponents. Pro the product of one more than the exponents. As you can see, in this case, the exponents are 3 and 1. So 1 more than 3 is 4, right? 3 plus 1 equals 4. 1 more than 1 is 2. So 1 more than the two exponents is 4 and 2. The product of those is 8. And that matches up exactly with what we had up here. There are 8 factors. So the shortcut is prime factorization, add 1 to each exponent, and multiply those, things to get those two numbers together. Or 3 numbers if your prime factorization leaves 3 numbers. Okay. The sum. Well, the sum is always equal to um, the product of the sum of the um, multiples. So it's a very confusing. The product of the sum of the multiples of each prime. So what does that mean? Well, 2 is our first prime, and it goes up to 2 to the 3rd. So for 2, we have 2 to the 3rd plus 2 to the 2nd plus 2 to the 1st plus 2 to the 0. So the sum of those is 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1. If you add those together, you get 15. Now there is a shortcut for the 2s. The shortcut can be done 
2, add 1 to the exponent and subtract 1. 2 to the 4th is 16, minus 1 is 15. Unfortunately for 3, the shortcut isn't as easy, so you just have to add them up. 3 to the 1st plus 3 to the 0 equals 3 plus 1, which equals 4. So, the sum of the, uh, the, sum of the multiples of 2 is 15. The sum of the multiples of 3 is 4. And it tells me to find the actual sum of all the factors. You multiply those together. 15 times 4, that equals 60, which is exactly what we got up here. So that is the shortcut or the formula for finding the sum of the factors of a number. Okay, so we can look then at um, the product. So again, remember, 24 is equal to 2 to the third times 3 to the first. This one is actually more intuitive. We actually think a little bit more of it. We know there were eight factors. All right, there are eight factors that we had. Well, factors are always paired up unless it's a perfect square. 24 is not a perfect square, so you have four pairs of factors that gives you eight total factors. Well, each pair, whatever it is, so in this case, 1 times 24, that equals 24. 2 times 12, that also equals 24. 3 times 8 equals 24. 4 times 6 equals 24. Right? Another way to think of it is, if I listed all these out, it would be 1 times 24 times 2 times 12, and I'm just multiplying all these together, times 3 times 8 times 4 times 6. So what is this equivalent to? It's equivalent to multiplying 24 times itself four times. So the product of the factors is 24 to the fourth. And if you did 24 to the fourth, you would, you would get um, the large number we had over here, which was 331,776. That is the product of all the factors of 24. And it's always going to be the number to half the powers. If there is a square, if it's a perfect square, then you take half the powers, and then you also multiply by uh, whatever that square root is. Okay, so we'll, we'll look at one of those in a second when we do a, an example or two. Okay, um, so that tells us those. The even and the odd factors, that's actually even easier. If you think about this, um, for even and odds, you have... 2 to the third times 3 to the first. Well, essentially what this is, the way this formula works, you have these factors. And essentially you've got four factors and two factors, and so the way those can be combined is um, 4 times 2, eight ways. That's the way that you can combine all those things. Well, if you think about this, there's only two possibilities for odd. The 3 to the 1st and 3 to the 0. If we multiply it times any of these, well, actually, 2 to the 0 doesn't count, but if we multiply it times 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2nd, 2 to the 3rd, it's going to become even. The other way to do it is you look at the odd factors add one, and add 1 to their exponent. So in this case, because when you add 1, there are two odds, which we showed before. And then the evens is easy. It's just going to be the total minus the number of odds, which equals 6 evens. So that's how you do the sum, the product, the total number, the total number of odds, total number of evens. So let's do one example.